what's going on guys it's Jack here and today we're gonna be designing some t-shirts or some print-on-demand designs and you're gonna be following me along on my design process and this is gonna be the first episode of many of these so stick around and let's get making some awesome t-shirts but before we begin making some awesome t-shirts I'm just gonna ask you guys to do one thing just like the button hit the like button and we can move on from here and the niche we're gonna be de designing for today is easily distracted by sauce and dogs and don't worry I already trademark checked it we're good actually I didn't press search yet I just kind of assumed it would be okay and it is we're good easily distracted by sloths and dogs here we go we're gonna start today's episode on place it the next episode will probably be on Photoshop but for today we're gonna stick to place it I'm gonna try to design two to three designs for this niche that we just decided on it was on a bubble trend so if you guys want to use this tool I'll put it down in the description in the free tools but yeah Let's get started and let's get designing our sloths and dogs. So I want to make this as follow along as possible. So once you're in your PlayStation account, pretty much what I do every time is I'm just going to, because I know there's a lot of dog images, I don't think there's that many sloth images. I know dogs are more common. I'm going to search up some sloth here and I'm going to try to see if we can get a design with a sloth on it. And it looks like we got one right here, a little funny design. And I want to get one that we can also put a dog in and it would look good. So. I'm going to try to go for this one. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to see. And you guys are going to come along with me. I'm not going to really cut out too much. And we're going to do this together because I want to show you guys how I do it. And look right here. We got we got a dog. We got a good looking dog. But can we get a can we get that dog? That's the question. Sometimes it doesn't let you get the right images, the ones you want. And I'm actually not sure what these purple things are I think that means I can use them because I have my account that's new but um yeah so I want to get one of these dogs up here with the skateboard on them we're gonna put in the same keywords and there we go we got the dog with the skateboard here's what we're gonna do we're gonna move this guy oh yeah what's the words we need again <laughs> all right um, easily distracted easily distracted and then probably want to add another text um, to put just the word by and we're gonna do that by and if you guys want to change the text background to clear you just do this you probably know that though you guys are experts and I actually can't see my text but that's okay. okay we're just gonna go with that for now we can change that after easily distracted we're probably gonna want a a more like visible font we're gonna to stick to two fonts so I'm gonna go with Let's see, Black Spirit. No, we want we want something. We probably just want some Anton. We're gonna go with this for now. Put it in the middle. Make it bigger. Oh, whoa, whoa. We want that to be. You know what? We're gonna keep it like this. I think this could look good. And we're gonna rotate this a little bit. Make this a bit bigger. We'll make the sloth sniff the dog's butt. Why not? And this, this is just an example, so I know it's not perfect. Sloths. And you know, this is gonna be our first design, I think. I mean, I've seen worse, and considering we made this in about a minute, this is how I can make designs pretty quick. But, it doesn't always go this smooth, and usually the designs are, you know, design. this design's a bit choppy, because it doesn't really flow together. I'm kinda just tossing two images. Also, when I make the text, I usually would just make them all white, and then I would make the background black. And sometimes what I do, if you guys are interested, I'll have it like this, and then I'll save it, and then I'll change the background to white and make it make the text black. So actually, make sure you save it as transparent, but you change the text to black, or something I like to do too is just change the fonts up. So change the fonts, change the color of the text, Sometimes I make two designs that way if I really like the design and I think like it's going to sell like people will like this and having different variants is good. I don't do that for every single design but it is not a bad way to get a few more designs in. It's obviously not going to be as effective if you made two separate designs but um, nonetheless it's still another listing you can have up on the marketplace so I would not suggest it and I do do that quite frequently. Oh I've been changing the wrong. The wrong text this whole time why don't you guys tell me 
all right so we're gonna go with sloth and dogs i'm gonna put that i'm gonna do this one because this is a really nice this font is pretty popular and we're gonna change this back to white just so you can see it sloths and dogs look at that easily distracted by sloths and dogs so what i do is go like this then press download then it would do its thing but what i want to do is make another design with the same template so i'm going to show you guys how you can mix it up so like for example you don't have to really stick to the initial layout i could always hide this text right by here easily distracted by i'm going to fix this text so it's a bit more straight there we go easily distracted by sloths and dogs then you can put them down here and bam you got another design see this one is the same images but it actually it looks a lot different because it's a whole different orientation and now that we've done that we can go ahead over here and type in for some different images so obviously you could download that right now look we got a sloth head Let's see if we can get a dog head so we got a sloth now let's get a dog head oh look at that look at that that's a beautiful design right there there's another one see it's not that hard to make awesome designs actually especially with place it i'm going to be going over how to make some photoshop designs or photopia whatever tool you use really photoshop related i'm going to go over how to make some of those designs too on my next video on this making designs with you guys but if we look here we're going to put our text down here i'm gonna i like kind of rather them at the top i think this would look a lot better honestly this is all personal preference but i just think this would look really good because the bottoms are kind of clear cut so if we line it up like this that looks pretty good you can't like you can't deny that go ahead and make it transparent download it that looks pretty darn good i did not mean to click add another graphic we're going to cancel that and yeah like let's make another design why don't why don't we make another because this is just too easy right make our background black and let's go over here go over here go over here okay he's hanging down we got our dog we need a better dog not that that dog's bad okay Ooh, what's this dog no he doesn't really look the same Oh, here, I have an idea. So what we can do, easily distracted and by will be three separate words. So we're gonna bring this guy up easily. And then we'll have this distracted by. It's gonna be awesome. And don't worry, I got a plan guys easily distracted by and then we're gonna put the dog right here oh my gosh look how cute that dog is obviously these colors don't go very well together and I'm not sure if we can change them we can make him pink let's see if we can make him brown because the brown's not working out for me here they do not want to go brown okay we're gonna try to make it somewhat similar to the sloth you can't always do that which is fine that's the only downside to using places is sometimes you can't get the colors you want but you can recolor things in Photoshop and other tools however place it usually I don't have a problem recoloring just because I'm using two very different images and this isn't exactly what I go for you know I'm gonna fix this so easily then I'm gonna make the dog go here and we're gonna bring them like this. I'm really not liking this dog actually. We're gonna change dogs. We're gonna change dogs. Need a different dog. Ooh, this dog could be the one. Yep, this is the dog. We're gonna we're gonna bring the dog with the sloth. They're gonna be buddies. And these are just examples, guys. So you gotta remember you can really do anything and really my what you think of is what you think of because you're gonna think of different things to do than I am so this is just a I'm just trying to give you guys a good example of really like a base to start with so this is what I do usually with place it and I'll do things like this 
and then I got a design, right? Obviously, I would want the text to be bigger here, so I'd probably make these three. I make these three elements bigger and these smaller, or you can just make these smaller, and then when you go to download and resize it, you can fill the gap, like you can fill the extra space. So something like that, and then you can click there, click download. Then when you're in the download page, click this down arrow, click crop and resize. And you're going to see that when we go over here and it uploads our image, we can actually resize it to make it fill the whole thing. So right now it's 4,000 by 4,800. We're going to do 4,500 by 5,400. And actually, I think I'm going to be testing out 5,100 by 7,400. Because that, mean, that makes it able to fill a bit more of the Redbubble options, I believe. And you'll still get the point here. So what you can do is make it bigger, fill this space, and sometimes it's hard to see because it's white. So I like to just control and then mouse wheel up so I can really see what I'm doing. So I want to make sure I fill this space as much as possible. And you're going to see it is pretty close to the edges here. Then you can go ahead and click download. And yeah, that's really what I meant by resize. And that's our third design. Obviously, I'm going to resize the other ones too. Probably not going to upload these because I want you guys to really take a shot at this niche um, if you want to, if you see this video, because it is on the Redbubble trending niches. So it's not a bad niche to get into and it's actually not trademarked. Check that for you guys. So you can get designing for this. And really, you don't have to use Placeit, but if you do use Placeit, there's so many ways you can customize your images and templates that it's rare, very rare that you're ever going to get an exact copy of anyone. It's pretty much it's not impossible, but it's very unlikely because really you can see anyone can drag the text anywhere. It's really up to your creative ideas. So with that being said, let's go make one more design and let's go make it a good one. All right. So what I did was I actually just came back to make more on this one. And this is probably my favorite one that we've made since I've started this video. I just really like the two heads. I think they do go really well. And I did make another version with the heads up top, as you guys might remember. But I think this one is really nice. So the reason these designs can look really good is because these images are big and they look like they're in the right place. So I want to go for something of the same style. I want to get two images that are similar because these are very similar images. But we don't, we are limited to just like a few sloths. So that's the only problem is that sloths aren't very popular. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the same sloth. We're going to use this sloth to get a different dog. Because I think we can make something like this work, where we put like, we stack them. I know there's so many things you could really do, but we are limited in sloths. We could upload our own sloth image, um, but I'm not going to do that today. We're going to save that for the Photoshop tutorial. And if we put the sloth right, oh, look, it's a sloth, it's a sloth puppy hat. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I think that actually looks awesome. I actually think this looks great. So don't be stealing my sloth puppy heads, guys. But yeah, I think that's going to be our last design for today. That is really simple. See, it's not that um, difficult to come up with cool designs. Sometimes you do get stumped when you don't have as much design elements. Obviously, you have a lot of dog options here. And it's very nice to have all these options. And this head looks so funny. What the heck? And we can also do things like this where we just have another a different dog head and a different sloth head um this doesn't look the best so i'm not going to do that but you get the point and yeah we just made like four or five designs in a very short amount of time obviously do not copy the designs i just made try to come up with something new you probably are going to have to use the same sloth images if you're on place it or what you can do is go to a different design template and there's actually uh, you type in sloth and there's a different sloth here. So what I want to see this see this sloth wasn't in our options So you can go ahead and click that one And then when you come over here, you're probably going to notice that there are different sloths in the options here or that wasn't so let's let's see sloth and Yeah, see different sloths on a different template. So that's something to note if you guys are out of sloth images, you can always find in a different template and then check for sloth images on that one. Even if it's not a sloth specific template, you could probably find different images because 
I don't know why, but PlayStation kind of sorts their images into like uh, into options that are related to the design, which is kind of good because most of the images you pick will be able to integrate into the design um, pretty well. And then you can add in a nice sloth. But in this case, the sloth actually does not let you add in. Oh no, it does let you add another graphic. So then we can put in a dog. I know I said the other one was the last design, but I just want to show you guys real quick that you can have the option to do different things. We're going to try to find a dog that is somewhat like this. So look, it's not that hard. You can get a graphic like this. Get the same accent color. I'm not sure where that accent color is actually. We're just going to go yellow and make this one yellow. And then you got your dog and your sloth. You could put the sloth on the dog. He's balancing on the dog. It looks like it might hurt. But you get the point. You could do tons of things and there's a lot of different dog images. And you can find different ways to get sloth images. And there's really just up to you to get creative with place it. But I just want to show you guys my design process. I'm probably gonna making I'm probably gonna be making more of these videos. So if you guys like this, leave a like. Let me know down let me know down in the comments if you guys have any niches you want me to design for on place it. I'd be willing to do that. I think that'd be cool. Or if you guys want a Photoshop episode, which I'm going to make the next one, let me know what type of niche you want for that too. Because um, I do want to see what you guys suggest. I want to see if you guys have any problems making designs for certain niches. And I want to see if I can help you out. So if you like this video, please smash the like button. And there's going to be more of these videos coming out. So subscribe and stay tuned. But that's all I got for you guys today. But I'll see you guys tomorrow in the new video, which is released on Christmas. So if you're watching this on Christmas Eve, Merry Christmas Eve or Merry Christmas if you're watching it on Christmas. And yeah, with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.